Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your first week of October general love reading. Now keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that is watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Visuals, before I jump into your reading, just in case you have not seen on my various social media posts, I am doing a discount reading sale. This will be the last and final discount reading sale for the month of September. Now, I know this reading is for the first week of October, but as I am doing this reading, it is September 29th. So if you would like to participate in the discount reading sale, the link will be in the description box below. You'll go to my Etsy shop, find the thumbnail with the white dandelion with the blue background, click it, and then look for the tab that says is 929 reading sale okay this sale began at 8 a.m and it will wrap up at midnight my time which is chicago illinois okay so again if you would like to participate in a discount reading sale the link will be in the description box below now for my capricorns this is so tripped out i, don't, I can't even believe i haven't heard this song in forever and i was sitting down meditating over like i do with all the readings and i heard this song i used to love this song when i was a shorty like for real this is it's crazy because when i heard it as I was meditating, it took me a while to get to you guys reading because I actually was listening to the song on repeat. Like, it just brings back a sense of nostalgia and it's so adorable. Um, the name of the song that I got for you guys was I Adore Me More by Color Me Bad. Um, Me More means my love, so I adore my love. In other words, like, I adore you, my love. Um, again, by Color Me Bad. Um, in that group, you have a Scorpio, Libra, Leo, Gemini, and there's two other... Um, people, but I could not get their zodiac sign, so we'll just talk about the ones that I found. So again, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Libra, a Leo, or a Gemini, someone rising Venus individual. Also, keep in mind, there's a Libra in the group, and we are in Libra season, so this could be someone coming out and telling you how much they adore you. But here is the gag, okay, because there's a gag in this situation. For some reason, I kept getting a strong play on the name of the group, Color Me Bad. Now, again, they, they did a play with that also, with the name of the group, like, Color Me Bad, like, I'm bad, like, I'm so bad, the vocals are bad and dope, whatever. But also, they I was listening to a story that they were talking about many, many years ago about how people would try to throw slander at them because of the, the way the group was fashioned and things like that, and they would try to you know, put the group down, but no matter what they did, you know, they just kept evolving and they kept, you know, pushing through whatever. I'm getting with this message for some of y'all. What I heard is, well, someone has to be the bad guy. Might as well be them or might as well be you. We're going to see who it is because here's the thing. Bottom of the deck, you have a five of wands, conflict, arguments, disagreements. And there's a, that, you know, Coney Bad was a, a group, right? So you got a group here, literally a group of people. I feel like there's a group of people or there's people trying to turn or there's a group of people, or there's a person trying to turn a group of people against you. I feel like for a lot of you all, um, people may be judging you for taking someone back, or they could be talking a lot of shit about a love interest of yours, is what I'm getting here, okay? So let's see what we get, but I'm going to tell you, I feel like a Libra season, you know, because I keep getting this message with the I adore me and more, I feel like in Libra season, you may have reconnected with an ex that everyone hated, and this person is online professing their love or telling family and friends about how much they love you. And I feel like your friends just say, family and friends, they're not going for it. They're they not, they not feeling it. But here's the thing. It ain't for them to feel it's for you. So keep that in mind, okay? But that's what I'm getting. So let's go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the devil. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the Venus individuals. Currently at the bottom of the deck. There you go. So it's like people trying to be in your head. I feel like, you know, source, communication, the mental, and then you got a ghost. It's like it could be especially a female figure in your head. And it's like when you try to lay down at night, you're kind of restless because it's like they always come in. The thoughts keep coming in about what someone said about your love interest. You know, you got an owl coming in. The owl's flying towards her, not away. Owls talk about hidden knowledge and wisdom. So it's like somebody may have dropped, dropped some quote unquote truth bombs about this person. And it's like it's haunting you because she's a ghost. So something that a female figure has told you is haunting you, um, or somebody is hoping that you would be haunted by something that they say. And again, you got swords here. We are in Libra season. That is swords. So let's see what we get. I, I feel like that. Yes. People do not want you to get back with this person or give this person a chance. This could be a new person. Also, people do not want you to get back with someone or they don't want you to give someone a chance. Okay. You got Scorpio also Aries energy here with the major arcana of the tower. Major arcana is definite. Yeah, see, you got people who sitting down, talk to you, people that you trust, 
Um, there's some type of communication, heartfelt, because you had cups, that's emotional feelings. Someone that you feel like you could trust. And so that's why with a nine of swords, you could possibly be in your head about something that someone has said. Like, even if they're not gossiping, like, oh, I heard this person did this, I heard this person did that. If it, it's like if this person finds out that you're with someone that you broke up with and it was really dramatic or it was like messy before, it's like this person is coming to you as a friend, like, I'm getting Destiny's Child. What's the name of that song, girl? Where they were just sitting down like, girl, why would you get back with this person? Or bro, why would you get back with this person after what they did to you? It's like somebody that you feel like you can confide in. And I want you to look at Red Dress's face. Like, look at how her eyebrows are a little arch. Like, mm -mm, why would you do that again? The person in question could have the first, middle, last initial of CGM or W. Also, just her Percy or Perry. Okay. One more shuffle I just heard. Yeah, this person, a lot of people feel like this person is very manipulative. Like, they're trying to manipulate you. Gemini Virgo energy here with the magician. Again, major kind of definite. A lot of people feel like this person is a master manipulator because that's exactly what the magician is. They are a master, master manipulator. They can manipulate the elements. They can make you see whatever it is they want you to see because they're an illusionist. So for you, a lot of people are feeling like this person is tricking you or they feel like there's something sinister about this person's intentions towards you. Okay. So let's go ahead. We want to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is again, the devil. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Capricorn, Summer, Rising, Venus, and the visuals. I keep hearing Libra, and I feel like it's Libra season. You know, because we're in Libra season right now, I feel like this is going to play out in Libra season for a lot of you all. Wow, you're all the way at the back of the deck? Yeah, you are. 78 cards, and look how far you are. So for some of you all, it's like, <laughs> the, I, you, what was that, Um, who was it, Carisha, when she was talking to Santana, like, Girl, he left you for dead. Like, this person be telling you, like, this person didn't give a damn about you. They left you for dead. Like, not literally, but maybe for some of y'all, some of y'all may have been really, really sick. And when you needed this person the most, they just get out of, they got up out of that. They get, got about the gym, right? They didn't want to take any responsibility to help you. That's for a small amount of y'all. And it also is like, you know, the slang, they left you for dead. Like, didn't literally leave you for dead, but it could have been literally like, they didn't give a damn about what was going on with you. And then it's like once you got on your feet, now this person's popping back up, trying to be in your circle, trying to be in your life and things like that. So that, that may resonate also. So right in front of you, you have the page of cups. They could be saying like this person is still very emotionally mature because pages are young, youthful, still got growing expanders to do. Um, you also could be saying like, well, I'm back with this person because I have a child with this person because you may have a child with this individual. The child could be a water sign. I can't spice Scorpio. doesn't have to be. Just putting it out there. I feel like overall this person was very immature. That's what I'm saying. Like when I was saying the left you for dead thing. It's like this person didn't give a damn about you. And then when you got your feet, now they want to come back and reconnect. There's your energy. And then at the bottom of the deck, you had, yeah, this is somebody you want to reconcile. Okay, for sure. So for a lot of guys, this could be a water sign. can't spice Scorpio. Um... I mean, you have Scorpio and color me bad, okay? Can't spice Scorpio individual that you have history with because the six cups people that you have history with in this lifetime, past lifetime, and I'm going to say again, you got three children here. You have children or a child with this individual. Three of wands. I feel like family and friends is hoping and wishing that you'd move on and go in a different direction. You see how this, the ship relationship is not very towards him. It's kind of leaning. You see how it's going like in this direction, not coming directly towards him. So I feel like your family and friends are hoping and wishing that you would move on to a different relationship, to a different person. Some of you guys definitely are reconciling with somebody. We're in Libra season. You guys know that that's Libra's ruled by the planet Venus, which is love, beauty, health, finance. So for some of you all, there may be a reconciliation of love or you're talking to someone that you have already had con romantic connections with. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Yup. Woo. I can't make this up, y'all. Are you looking at it? I was holding it that way so I couldn't see it. Reconciliation. Major arcana. Definite. Okay. Judgment card. Reconciliation. Bringing the situation back to life. Absolutely. I feel like for a lot of you all, somebody hates. <laughs> I mean, I really mean this. I I'm getting like somebody hates someone that you are giving another chance to. Or someone's family hates that someone is giving you another chance. It's, it's something like that. Because this, you have soul families here. And you see how they were in caskets, but they're being awakened. Yeah, something is being renewed or someone's trying to reignite some type of new beginning. I I, I knew it when I seen the five of wands. Um, and even with, I kept hearing the whole thing, like the group color me bad. And it was like, it's like somebody was trying to paint a picture. If you paint, you're coloring. And the name of the group, you know, 
painting has color. And then the name of the group is Color Me Bad. So somebody's trying to paint a horrible picture, a hor horrible narrative of someone is what I'm getting. So that's part of the deck. Yep, Four of Wands, marriage, long-term commitment. This could have been someone that you live with definitely in a domestic capacity. You could be married to this person or you guys were talking about marriage or some of you guys will be talking about marriage. Somebody, I'm going to tell you straight up, is just going to go off and elope. Because you, you, don't, you don't care about anybody else's opinion. Also, I'm going to tell you because I'm getting this also with the world. This is making me think about, you see how there's an energy on every single corner. For some of y'all, I'm getting that your child, your adult child can be going off and eloping or dating someone that you hate. You absolutely hate. Your family absolutely hates. And I hate is a very strong word, but that's exactly what I'm feeling. And I feel like it's, it's like... You may be the person that someone's coloring bad because they're like, well, you're you're just being rude, you're being mean. I love this person, and you're you know you're being nasty to them. So in so many senses, for some of y'all, you will be painted as a bad guy for this voice and your opinion. Okay, bottom of the deck, nine of wands, the wounded warrior. It's almost like no matter what someone does, it's like someone doesn't care to fight anymore. Someone does not care for anybody else's narratives, anybody else's opinions. Could be a Leo Sag Aries. Like, nobody else's opinion matters. You see how he has the bandage around his head? It's like, you guys are not going to let this person get in your head. You're going to do what you want to do. Or somebody in this situation is going to do what they want to do. But some of you, I definitely feel like it's an adult child. True story, and I'm going to make this really quick. I got a homegirl. She has a son that she, she went through cancer. She actually had cancer. She had breast cancer. And, you know, he was he's a mama's boy, right? And he got with this woman that absolutely hated my homegirl. And the whole time when she was going through cancer, she would not allow, and I think this is weird, but she would not allow him to go be with his mother because his mother doesn't like her. And she, you know, again, she, she could have lost that battle to cancer, but he stuck by her. Mind you, they were not married. <laughs> they, they were not married. She would not let him go to any doctor appointments with her, go sit, you know, when, they, when she was having her cancer treatments, like sometimes they'll allow you to have guests there to sit with you and, you know, companionship and things like that. It was really bad, and and my homegirl, she still liked this with her son. She loves her son with everything in her, but it's it's so weird because things are so limited because of his partner. Again, they're not married even to this day, and it's been years, and it's so it's it's bizarre. Be and and everyone wants to make my homegirl a bad guy, but she's only being seen as the bad guy because she's telling him her son like. This woman, ever since you've been with her, you have, your credit has plummeted. You have went into debt over her. You have cut off your family over her. And this woman is controlling you. And because she spoke out on it and she, you know, said directly to this woman, she, the woman's like, either choose your mother or me. And he's choosing a woman, which, you know, whatever, to each his own. But that's, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting here is like somebody is upset that someone is speaking out and they're wanting someone to just shut up and let whatever happens, happens. It's something with something with an adult child is what I'm getting. Even for some of you guys, I'm not gonna lie, it could be a teenage child that is maybe in an unhealthy relationship. I'm getting a lot. You you put it where it resonates. I'm getting a lot of different scenarios here. So let's get a clarifier for this page of cups. Bottom of the deck, you have the nine of wands still. Universal energies of light, love, and divine protection. That's when she told me that story about it, it burnt me up, you know. And they were the closest to the close before he met that that girl. I'm gonna say she's a girl because her her whole thought process is very immature. Look, didn't I say a girl? A queen is a woman. In reverse is a girl. That's what I'm saying. Somebody's dating somebody. They, hell, they belong together, to be quite honest with you. Because, uh, right, she's a grown woman. She's in her power. She's in authority. And in reverse, she ain't shipping a page either. And, you know, in reverse, as I pick this up here, they're facing each other. So they belong together. They both are immature. Literally. Um, could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I did say in the group, Color Me Bad, there is, in fact, a Libra and a Gemini. So you got air right here. And I'm going to say again, somebody's going to have to take the fall because I feel like swords, you know, as communication and mental, they're saying like somebody is just now in, in some situations, somebody could be stressing or sharing and expressing their opinions in a very nasty and negative way. Because kings and queens are meant to uphold a certain status of regalness, a certain status of truth and clarity in reverse to someone abusing their power because kings and queens hold positions of power and authority. So someone may be abusing it because guess what? We also have narratives where... The, there's this nasty ass mother-in-law, nasty ass, you know, you know, um, parental figure or a family member who always is saying very cutting and hurtful and, and disrespectful things. So there could be a narrative with that also. I'm not going to 
me get away from that and act like everyone is, you know, doing what's right and speaking respectfully. Somebody may have been speaking very respectfully, disrespectfully, I'm sorry, in a situation. And so there could be a bit, there could be some type of bad guy in this situation. But whatever the case, somebody's playing a bad guy role. I'm going to tell you that for sure. Somebody has been given that role. Bottom of the deck. Four of Pentacles is like somebody is needing to release their hold or their need to have a hold on someone. Because there is an energy of control. You see how he's holding it from top to the bottom. Like, I want to control the narrative. Um, for some of you all, you also may be releasing someone. Because I always say with this, it's like holding on for dear life the way he's holding on to it in reverse. And you are Pentacles. You may be releasing somebody. Or you released somebody because they wouldn't stand up to their mother or, you know, somebody like that. Their family and friends who has stuff to say. And I know that, that look, the name of the song, I Adore Me and More, has nothing to do with what we're picking up. I'm feeling like it's more so the name of the group. But I also feel like, again, with the song, they're talking about how they adore this person. It's like, I love this person and everybody wants them to release this person. That's what I'm getting. So let's get a clarifier for the Six of Pentacles. And Pentacles is about your foundation and... This this could be like people that you've known since you were very young. So that's a foundational connection here. And that's why someone is having a hard time letting go. Damn. Yep. Queen of Cups. Woo. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you right now, there's some some female figures that are at odds. This could be you like say for instance, if you're a woman watching, this could be you at odds with somebody's mother. I've heard about those mother in laws from hell. Seriously, I would initially when I first got married, mine was definitely a mother in law from hell. And this was my ex-husband. Would not step up to her. Would not defend me. Anything like that. And that's why that's my ex-husband. Okay. But, <laughs> you know, situations like that. So, somebody could be dealing with that. Seriously, somebody could be dealing with that for sure. That could be the situation. Um, and, you know, when I was in motion, you got cups, cups, cups. Definitely could be a water sign involved. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But more than anything, it's like people are not thinking about how they make others feel in this situation. Or somebody's not thinking about how they make you feel with their nasty opinions or their snide comments and things like that. So as I said, somebody, with the name of the song, I am I, I Adore Me More, there's love here from somebody that someone, you know, there's history with. But I also feel like there's some, in reverse, that's negativity. Like somebody is taking their positions in people's life and feeling like they have to... Like, they have the right to say whatever they want to and treat people the way they want to. It's a, it's a messiness here. I'm not going to lie to you. And and just as I was sitting here, I don't even know what I'm tasting about. It tastes like alcohol. And I'm, I'm not drinking anything, you know. But I'm tasting alcohol. Somebody may say how they feel when they're drunk. Talking all outside of their neck. Somebody may be an alcoholic and they just say the most ridiculous things. Somebody could have gone on an alcohol-induced rant. Some, something like that. Again, it doesn't have to apply to everybody, but that, that is what I'm getting for somebody out there, okay? So, Capricorn, someone rising to Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget about the discount reading sale. It ends at midnight. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.